Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. This is the fourth Monday in Lent in the church calendar, marking time with the story of the Lord. If you have a prayer request, as always, you can go to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. We'd love to pray for you. Join our Facebook group, benwardmusic.com slash Facebook. We'd love to have you as a part of the community. I've been walking by troubled waters Here in the shadow all alone And I've been worried about tomorrow Stuck in a world I can't control I met you as a savior I found in you a friend And I've seen you as a healer My help and my defense God, you've been my provider but right now what I need you to be my prince of peace come and be my prince of peace I've been wrestling with my demons fighting a war inside my mind And I've been swallowed by all my problems Just want to leave them all behind And I met you as a Savior I found in you a friend And I've seen you as a healer My help and my defense God, you've been my provider Right now what I need You to be my Prince of Peace Won't you be my Prince of Peace Peace like a river flow Peace like a river flow like a river flow Peace 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 like a river flow Found in you a friend, and I've seen you as a healer, my help and my defense. God, you've been my provider, but right now, what I need is you to be my Prince of Peace. Won't you be my Prince of Peace? Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Peace like a river flow 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 Peace like
It's like a river flow Peace like a river flow Psalm 89, 1 through 18. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to you, Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible to all those round about him. Who is like you, Lord, God of hosts? O mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength. And by your favor, our might is exalted. Truly, the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. Love and truth go before your face. Love and truth go before your face. Love and truth go before your face, Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture lesson is from the Gospel of Mark 7, 24-37. Jesus set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. Yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syro-Phoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. You do everything well, Lord. You do everything well. 
You do everything well, Lord, just look at our lives. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively this fourth Monday in the season of Lent in the church calendar. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread that he may live in us, and we in him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I met you as a savior, I found in you a friend. And I've seen you as a healer, my help and my defense. God, you've been my provider, but right now what I need is you to be my Prince of Peace. Come and be my Prince of Peace. Let's take a few moments, just be before the Lord. Whoever the Lord lays on your heart, family, friends, acquaintances, co-workers, your own heart, circumstances, your own struggles, frustrations, calls for clarity, those you know of who are hurting, nations, governments, local, state, whatever it is, just take these few moments and invite the Prince of Peace to have his way in all of these situations to move. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this day, for this new week. Thank you for the season of Lent. As we lean into you and return to you in preparation for the celebration of Easter and the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Lord. Would you move in the earth? There seems to be so much turmoil, as always, God government, selections, politics. So many taken advantage of and abused. God, would you put a stop to it? Would you 
Have your righteousness make a way. Would you rescue, save, deliver, heal, God, in the name of Jesus? Peace like a river flow. 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 Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let the Prince of Peace rule in your heart today. Amen and amen. Morning Prayer and Worship is a production of Steady Stream Ministries. Thank you for your support. Benwardmusic.com slash donate. Bye-bye.